The time has come. Today we are removing the engine and transmission from Shifty Lanes Project 240. What's up guys, welcome back to Shifting Lanes. My name is Gregson and thanks so much for tuning in. If you like this video and if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and to give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed what you saw. Today we are turning it back over to Nick at Red Block Performance and you guys have been so supportive in uh, following him on Facebook. Uh, I urge you to go follow him on Facebook. He does amazing stuff in the Pacific Northwest out in Oregon and he has tons of Volvos for sale that he fixes up and finds in the junkyards and makes them you know, very reputable cars again and puts them back on the road for basically the next to nothing so if you really like a good Volvo shop to follow even if you're not in the Pacific Northwest go follow Red Block Performance on Facebook we're turning it over to him today like I said Nick is going to take the engine out of our shell car for our Volvo 240 build and he's gonna describe a little bit about what we're going to do to our engine right at the beginning so without further ado I am going to turn it over I'm here in this very chilly garage so I'm gonna hop back inside and I will see you at the end of the video we're gonna take a moment to talk engines now we've mentioned what we're gonna be doing for the shifting lanes car is a B23 plus T uh, 10 to 1 compression engine some of you might be scratching your heads and going, now what the hell does he mean by that? As I explained in the earlier videos, the B23 uh, came out between roughly uh, 1983, 1984. Uh, 1983, they were all 10 to 1 compression. In 1984, only the automatics were, uh, not the manuals. So when I get those cars in and they're in rough shape, the motor runs and they're pretty solid, I pull them all. Uh, and in this particular case, I'm going to show you what our finished product is going to be. This particular car belongs to one of my customers. Uh, we're just wrapping this up for delivery this weekend. Uh, this is a 1988 740 uh, wagon that we have done a B23 uh, motor build. I call this our uh, Stage 3 B23 and a manual conversion on this car. Now what we've done here, we took the original head, we had uh, stainless valves put in it. It's got a KL Racing Stage 3 turbo cam, uh, three inch, or uh, three millimeter lash, lash caps, excuse me. Um, we've gone through, uh, there's gonna be some other goodies getting put on this engine that aren't here yet. We've got an adjustable cam here coming. We have a uh, STS machining electric fan, which is what we're gonna be using on the shifting lanes car. This is equipped with a Sweden exhaust turbo header. Uh, tile, uh, blow-off valve, and wastegate, external wastegate, which is a straight dump pipe. Um, this is running a EM USA uh, 6057 turbo. Now, a lot of you are going EM USA, and I'm like, yes, this is when I discovered these. This is an eBay turbo, basically. Um, now, when we built the first motor of this incarnation for shop truck, it lasted all of one week with a Turbonetics $875 turbo line. The turbo only lasted one week. And basically, the manufacturer in California had forgot to put in a retaining clip for one of the bushings. The bushing backed out and the compressor wheel collided with the insides and ate the wheel. The shaft was destroyed. Turbo needed a complete rebuild. With these turbos, I get these, uh, you can usually find them online you know, 200 250 dollars and uh, for that you get a two-year free replacement warranty on it. I've been beating the crap out of these things for three years now and I've yet to have one fail. As long as they've got good oiling, they don't have any problems. This car is currently set up with LH 2.2 EZK ignition system. We're running uh, 2001 T5 uh, red injectors. Uh, running a Yoshi Fab. Stage 3 clutch kit. Uh, currently it's set up at about 8 pounds of boost, which is pretty good for this car. This motor, I've set them at 14 and they haven't had issues, but I probably wouldn't go much beyond that. It's set up with ARP hardware as well with a uh, Cometric metal head gasket. Just the same recipe we're going to be using for shifting lanes. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the scoop. Give you a little visual tour here.
see I've donned my welding helmet. We've been uh, doing our first official bit of uh, welding work on the car before we get it uh, out for the paint shop. Uh, I made a couple of executive decisions after looking at the car and talking with my paint guy. You know, the later model 240s that came after 85, you know, 86 era, they had all that plastic down the bottoms of the doors, the bottom of the rear of the body, and the uh, rocker molding and all that and such. And if we're going to do an R homage car, ours don't have any of that crap. So I've gone on ahead, taken all the plastic. I've got, still got to do the doors, but I've gone ahead and deleted the uh, rocker molding and deleted the plastic off the back half of the car. Let me show you what we're working with here. I just kind of used some old paint to throw on there so it doesn't rust. Clean that all up. Of course, the body man's got to fix our wheel well over here. And that was where the plastic would have been that covered that up there. I've left all of our bumper trim holes, of course, in the side of the bumper mount there. And the same over here. And all down the rocker, that'll give us a nice, smooth, finished look. Now we're getting ready to send the car over to the paint shop. So they're going to start on getting the quarter panel fixed. As you can see, we've got it completely gutted now, the exception of the parking brake handle. A couple of small bits. You ever seen a 240 that strip before? It's the first time I've ever yarded a wiring harness out of one, that's for sure. Normally, I just bundle them up and leave them where they're at, but the amount of work we're doing to this car, we figured we'd go full bore. I've got the engine bay soaking in purple power. If you have not discovered purple power yet, you should. It is one of the best biodegradable degreasers you can clap your hands on. It's available at most auto parts store. We're letting that soak in. We're going to roll it outside tonight and kind of let it sit in the rain. Kind of wash it on its own. And then uh, once we get it loaded up on the tow truck, we're going to stop at the car wash and give it another complete pressure washing inside and out. I've got to get my heat gun out and get all the uh, window weld off and all the stickered uh, black sections off of there. We're going to go on ahead and delete the black, delete the rocker trim. Going to keep this nice polished trim piece here. And uh, I got a little trick up my sleeve for side trim. It's going to make it look really nice. So there we go. I'm just about at the end of uh, what all I'm going to be doing here with the car in the shop. Unfortunately, the body guy was going to use, he was going to do the jams and the bodywork and the interior and all that in-house in the shop here so I could capture all that for you guys. Kind of flaked out on me, so we're going to uh, be shipping it out to my friends over in northeast Portland, and they're going to be wrapping up the rest of the paintwork, which works out well for us. And while this guy's away at the paint shop getting worked on, I'll be stopping by every other day to check on it and grab updates. Uh, we'll be sitting here building the motor for it. So there's where we are. And we've magically transported upstairs into my room. We have done a lot. <laughs> well, Nick has done a lot. Um, we're just cobbling this stuff together for you guys to watch, and I hope you're enjoying this series so far. So what you'll see next on this car is uh, sort of the engine starting to take shape, a little bit of the rebuild, and you'll also see uh, the bodywork of this car. You saw Nick uh, welding in this video. It, the car is off to the body shop, and if you follow us on Instagram, you will see that I posted a post today when you're watching this of the car in its body shop form it's totally stripped and there's a ton of work being done and if you followed red block performance you would have already seen this photo because nick is posting updates as he builds this thing so 
it's good to follow both, but definitely follow Shifting Lanes on Instagram. That's where we post most of our updates and everything. So if you don't see anything on YouTube, you can always follow us on Instagram to keep up to date with all the latest stuff that we have going on. As always, don't forget to follow us on Facebook too. We post a lot of videos and hilarious memes there. So if you want some funny car stuff as long, along with the Volvo content, then go follow us on Facebook and again, follow us on Instagram. You can follow me at RealGregsonM on Instagram if you so choose. Thank you so much for watching and we will catch you next time. See ya.